Thursday, May 9th, it's 510. I got another video coming out. It's been stuck on this editing since 330. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> I guess they uh they probably have a conference meeting. Should we uh ban this guy now or what? He's been with us for over 14 years. He made us grow. He's the old man. Reminds me of my uncle, my granddad, my great great grandfather, the way they talked back then. Proud U.S. Army veteran, military police, strap unit, rapid deployment, jungle expert, numerous awards with the Federal Protective Service contract guard, numerous uh, lives saved. Here's my Bible. I've had this since Panama, since back in 1978, I had this Bible. This is what I've been doing lately. First I pray, I get my faith stone, the one I found in the backyard buried. This is buried and I unburied it and then it cleaned it up and it said faith. I don't know how it got there. I know how I got there. And I hold it, you know, for strength and for protection. So I took my Bible, closed my eyes. I said, okay, Lord, what's the message for today? Then I closed it. Then I opened the page. I let the Holy Spirit go through my fingers, my hand, which is lit up today. And I'm feeling better. Took my finger and then I pointed. Okay, and I opened my eyes. I remember I just flipped the pages. Hundreds of hundreds of pages. So this is the verse that I came up with my finger. It's from Psalms 144, verse 5. Bow thou heaven, O Lord, and come down, touch the mountain, and they shall smoke. Okay, the next verse after that is verse 6. Cast forth lightning and shatter them. Shatter them. S-C-A-T-T-E-R. Them. Shoot out thy arrow and destroy them. Now the verse before, verse 4. Man is like to variety. V-A-N-I-T-Y. Has they are as a shadow that pass away. You say, wow. Ask anybody out there that, that knows the trans what they think it, that means. Now, these are the videos that I was looking at Twitter X that I like. Okay, this is the illustration. This our shields. But remember, this crack in our shields. And that's been reported over and over and over. So it's nothing new. They won't say specifically where the cracks are located. Amen. This area here, we know there's a crack here called the anomaly, totally causing havoc to say the least. And also they, that thing with disgrace that they had disrespecting the Lord. You got to understand we're living in a different vibration. It's not like before. We're living in times that frequency, prayers, everything, everything's in play. I can't even find the word light. And this might explain why I had a problem with my microphone and the computer. Maybe I got zapped. Don't even know it. Now this is they're expecting the auroras. This is for tomorrow night yes yeah, saturday morning now see the line by by wisconsin or illinois they got this other line here right indiana ohio colorado now if this auroras is spotted the same florida we got programmer remember the, the carrington was seen all the way down to cuba but back then the magnetic field was stronger magnetic field is weaker and there's crack the thing is where so if, if auroras are seen this far south we're in trouble now they're expecting an eight, which is super high. And nighttime seeing something like that coming at you. You got volcanoes waking up in Indonesia. Volcanoes have been dormant for who knows how long. One after another after. I'm thinking the magnetic field has to be, this was just posted yesterday. This comes from weather model. And they said this big blob, hot, super hot water right out south of Alaska. Maybe that's the opening in this area too, or this area here. And look at this. So there's a, there's definitely an opening. Could be this area right here. We're super, super hot. Oh, I wonder if it's by Hawaii. And then we had this shooting, right? Let me see if I can freeze it. Okay, there was a jet that shot in that direction, which puts it where, where Comet 12P is located at. One there, our friend Comet 12P and their compadres are, are messing around with our son. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. So there it is. Creatures, don't they? Like worm. 